Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Solar tsunami and CME. Sunspot AR3060 exploded during the early hours of July 21, producing a C5 class solar flare and a solar tsunami. The tsunami is the shadowy shock wave seen racing away from the blast site in this extreme ultraviolet movie from Helioviewer.org. Soon after the explosion, the U.S. Air Force reported a Type II solar radio burst, a natural form of radio noise produced by shock waves in the leading edge of a CME. Characteristics of the burst suggested that a CME was tearing through the sun's atmosphere at a speed of 1063 km per second, 2.4 million miles per hour. In this movie, we see a superposition of multiple CME. The brightest clouds at the 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock positions may be from far side eruptions. They are not heading for Earth. Of greater interest is a faint full halo CME which emerges just before 206 coordinated universal time. That one was launched by the tsunami and is squarely inside the Earth strike zone. NOAA forecasters expect it to arrive on July 23rd, possibly sparking G2 class geomagnetic storms. Also, the coronal holes on the Sun, shown here, which streams solar wind, will increase plasma density, on the 22nd. As plasma from a superstorm interacts with Earth's magnetosphere, it can trigger spectacular displays of the northern lights, called auroras, interfere with communications between satellites and airplanes traveling near the North Pole, and interrupt global positioning systems and our power grid. Not to worry this is not a superstorm. And on the 24th, the wind velocity will be at a higher level. If solar wind speeds are high enough geomagnetic storms can be triggered which can lead to auroras expanding closer to the equator than is possible during calmer space weather conditions. Geomagnetic storms can also wreak havoc with satellites and electricity networks and threaten astronauts in space. This model shows the pressure on the magnetosphere for today, which is moderately high. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.